Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shanmao here. And uh, it's a windy day, windy afternoon, but I'm sure the Wingsland M5 can handle it. I previously tested a Wingsland M5. It flew superb. It is a very, very nice flyer, very nice quadcopter. All the features work as advertised. It is absolutely a fun quadcopter to fly. The only objection I had with this quadcopter, and I still have it, is that puny pinhole 720p camera. Once again, the question here is, Wingsland, what were you thinking? Such a nice quadcopter, such a nice machine, such a nice drone with a puny pinhole 720p camera in this era of 4K video. Well, everybody, I mean, even, even my cheap Ausenma CG035, the toy hobby grid quadcopter, has a 1080p camera, not a 720p camera. So, this is a deal breaker here. Honestly speaking, Wingsland, this is a deal breaker here. People will love the quadcopter and its flight performance, but the camera and its result, especially the tilted angle on the camera downward, most of the times you're just watching the ground. You can't get any good shots out of it. But when it comes to flying, this is absolutely a fun quadcopter to fly, and that's the factor you want to buy it because this can be a great trainer for you to learn to fly quadcopter, to train yourself to fly it, to train yourself to take good shots trickiest it is trickiest to take good shots with this camera so you will have a lot of practice on controls and how to fly a quadcopter to get best of the shots so you know my conclusion right before flying let's fly it this time i mean this is the second flight and see how it goes and we'll see if the videos are good or not here we go so my radio is on and i love the radio control again once again i love the radio control fits very well in my hands and it is beautiful very nice and very comfortable in hands and of course it holds the phones even the bigger phones it holds very very nice okay so i'm gonna go ahead and connect to wingsland r6 it's connecting to m5 after which i will not be able to do uh bleh, how to say <laughs> Uh, if you connect to the quadcopter, you won't be able to use that auto circle feature. It doesn't work. You have to connect to Wingsland R6, the radio control, and then your quadcopter, and then your quadcopter features will actually work. I mean, the uh, auto circle and everything else should be work. You'll be able to calibrate the quadcopter as well. So here's Wingsland M5 app. Okay, and start fly. I have the video. Okay, we have 19 satellites, 100% battery. Recording video, take off, yes. There you go. Despite of all the wind, it should hold its position nice because it has uh, optical flow sensor and everything in it. All right, come behind my Land Rover so you will have less winds here. <laughs> okay, I will go in the video, <laughs> in the frame. You have to make angle, you have to go under the quadcopter to get that angle. Record the video. It's recording. Let's go fly. As I mentioned, the flight performance, man, it's superb. Flight performance is really, really good on this quadcopter. It's agile, it's fast, and it is very, very responsive. Altitude hold is a bit poor in this windy day. On the windy days, you will have very, very poor altitude hold. But apart from that, on calm winds, you will have very good luck with the altitude hold. So barometer uh, is a kind of glitchy, which is common on most of these kind of quadcopters. Against the winds, does a very good job. Now, the thing is that I wanted to show that when, I hope you can see, hold on, I'll go here. All right, so. You can see I'm just looking downwards and if I come here now because the quad will tilt backward to fight the winds I can see a little bit of desert so as soon as I start flying forward all I see is the ground so basically in order to get good shots I have to be very very high I believe let's say this altitude now I can barely see my car right there you can see right there 
barely see my car. As soon as I start moving forward, all I see is the road. So basically, I believe, okay, I agree maybe to save cost 720p camera is okay, but hey, don't make it tilt downward. At least give us, uh, you know, ability to set its angle to upward. So when we fly quad this way forward, it's tilting uh, nose down when fly forward. So we could put the camera, you know, angle up just like in the FPV racing quadcopters and get very good shots out of the 720p camera. But that's not happening here because the camera is permanently set to that tilted angle. All right. I will put it there and I'll keep myself, I'll just walk into the scene <laughs> and put the quad into point of interest. Yes. Okay. All right. You have to move it a little bit in order to be able to set the point of interest. Basically now you can see it's shooting me. I'm trying to put myself shamelessly into the shot again and again <laughs> and I'm again and again out of the shot and here I am again I went out of the shot again shamelessly I'm trying to put myself into the shot so yes tilted camera angle mm -mm, that is a no-no man however the feature is working simply perfect okay so I'll exit and it will hold the altitude again now there isn't much that you can do after that you can auto return to home, you can land, or you can fly it around. The boring thing about this quadcopter is that it has a plenty of flight time, so you will be getting bored flying it around uh, if you are not able to get some good shots. Okay, I'll stop recording the video. I'll take uh, some pictures maybe from the air. And here we go, again, shamelessly put ourselves into a shot. Uh, right there I am so I'll switch to the camera and smile okay I believe I got it photo captured and let's make an action Ooh, ah, like this mm -hmm. so I will maybe jump okay ready one two three jump I hope the picture was captured and let's make an angle <laughs> let's make an action style like this Captured? Yay! <laughs> it saved that photo! Alright, okay. I'll take a shot of desert from here. Let's see. Ooh, how badly the quad is tilted because of the winds. Uh, this side, this side is much better, so we'll take a shot. Uh, move, no, no, move this side, go backward, go backward, you see it's really difficult to get a proper shot that you want, so mm, I believe this is it, one, two, no, at this side there's no shot because of the tilted angle, alright, so let's test the auto return to home feature, shall we? I still have 40% battery. The flight battery is low, 30%. Okay, so I will say uh, auto return to home. Confirm one key RTH. All right, there's the quadcopter. It's coming back now. I'm holding the radio, I'm not doing anything. 30% battery. Hey, I can shoot a video of uh, auto return to home. There we go. Shooting a video for auto return to home. While it returns to home, it shoots video. Comes back really nice. Very good. Right there. Okay, let's see, despite of all these winds, if it can land. All right, it's landing. It came tail in, which is fine for me. At least it came back home and approximately the same place where we took off from. 
very nice. Despite of this much wind, there isn't much deviation. Awesome. Wings length. This is absolutely fun to fly quadcopter. It is a very, very nice quadcopter. And I mean it, it is a very nice quadcopter. Flight performance is nice. It's charming, it's charming looks and futuristic looks. It's a speed, it's reliability uh, and it's features that are all working simply as you advertise. But as I mentioned, you're breaking the deal here with this 720p puny pinhole camera looking downward all the time. And come on, give us some tracking, auto tracking a subject and follow it. Follow me, that is one of the features that is missing. If it had that, you would have really, really very nice sales. Anyway, still, you had my earlier conclusion in the beginning of this video, so go watch it and enjoy. And if you're looking for a good quad to get yourself trained, fly, have fun with, get bored flying because of the plenty of flight times and of course 720p pinhole camera, well, this is it, Wings Led M5. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.